Hello, welcome students. Today I'm going to show you a very good case and this is a case of a hypertrophic scar versus keloid. So when we talk about the keloid, what is keloid? It is a granulation defect that we have. And when we talk about the granulation defect, can you see this is a classical lesion that we have. This is one lesion and this is the another lesion that we have. So there are two lesions that we have. Now what is the concept of keloid? The keloid is seen whenever there is a tissue trauma, the healing happens, the collagen is you can say exuberant, uh, excessive collagen deposition is seen and whenever there is excess collagen deposition, you can see this kind of defect will happen. Now, what is the difference between a hypertrophic scar and keloid? In hypertrophic scar, the vertical elongation is seen, but in keloid, the vertical, that means the wound goes beyond the margins. So, transverse extension and vertical extension is also seen. What are the classical places where you see this keloid this is the typical reason so can you see the keloid triangle so this these are the two deltoids and then this is the chest wall so this is a classical deltoid triangle what is the ideal management for this intra lesional steroid standard do you know many patients undergo a surgical excision but they are not explained about this fact and therefore the recurrence of the relapse rate is high if you want to complete it go for radiotherapy so surgery followed by radiotherapy is actually going to be the definite uh, treatment but for hypertrophic scar they show the regression also ab mai patient se i will ask this patient kya aapko koi takleef hoti hai symptoms hoti hai isme khujli dard kuch hota hai khujli hoti hai thoda bahut dard hai so can you see the complaint of pain pruritus paresthesia is seen in keloids but not in hypertrophic scar so what is the diagnosis it is a keloid not a hypertrophic scar and we shall be going for interlesional steroid for this and what is the steroid of choice triamcinolone acetonide generally we need 4 to 6 cycles of that this will induce the fibrosis of this granulation defect